Recently on News Talks Down to Business with Bobby Kerr, we talked about iBeacons with the founder of Tapadu, Dermot Daly. Before Dermot came in to talk to us about how these devices could revolutionize industries like tourism and retail, he created a demo app for a fictional News Talk cafe. And here's how it might work. So what we've got here is a fictional cafe app, right? So we, we don't really have much in it, it's just basically showing you, um, showing you, you know, price lists of a cafe, right? Okay. So the idea being that it's it's already looking for beacons. Yeah. Now, what, what I've got here is um, an app that would say was running in the actual cafe itself. Okay. And it, um, it is acting as a beacon, right? So. Okay, so the, this iPad is acting as a beacon. This iPad okay. is acting as a beacon. It could okay. be a physical It could be the beacon, little device. We, yeah. We've got it in an app just to show you what two different beacon scenarios okay. might be like. So yeah. if I start that up, uh, we're in the Marconi house and immediately up has popped this offer. Okay. Because by virtue of you being close to the beacon, yeah. it says right, I know you're close to the you're close to the Marconi house beacon, let's give them an offer, right? Based so, on where we are. Based on where we are, because okay. it's physically close to this. To okay. this device, right? Now what I've done How close does it have to be to the beacon? Well, we, we can we can get a, a value that is considered almost you know immediate, right. near or far. And immediate is within kind of about a foot. Okay. Uh, near wow. is within about a meter, and then far is up to about 150, 200 feet. So okay. It's quite, right. quite so you can get someone when they come in the door, yeah. and then you can also figure out what queue they're in, maybe. All sorts yeah. of stuff, absolutely. Okay. And you right. can range your multiple beacons, so you can okay. tell which is your closest one, and all that sort of okay. thing. Okay. So we've got. As well as the first location that you showed me. We have a second location. So imagine the guy who had been to the Marconi House location. Yeah. He didn't take up the offer, right? He's walked off, he's gone away, and now he's actually come across the other the other branch, which is down in George's Dock. Okay. Right? So what's what happens when I flick? When I flick this, it's going to flick over to the George's Dock. Okay. Uh, um, it's the same interface, but but imagine it's in the George's Dock. So with a different menu branch. relevant to the other branch. Yeah. Well, in fact, all we do is change the title here. But anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, what you'll see is the offer then becomes relevant to the other branch. So I flick over here to the other the other uh, thing. Ah, okay. And that becomes Very our, good. Our special offer for our other branch. Very good. Very good. So it means that you could have a loyalty program where you could have an app for all of your stores and when you go from store to store, you get a different menu, different offer depending on where you are. Absolutely. So I mean, I think, I think where, where it becomes really interesting is for a start, it's location based with a location you can trust. It's very close to a location. Okay. But then it gets far more interesting if you amalgamate that to like personal information. Okay. So the offer doesn't necessarily just have to be, oh, this is what's available in George's stock. Yeah. It might be, do you know what, we actually haven't got this guy to ever try our salad. Ah, and okay. we can, so what we do is not only will we give them a relevant offer in this location, we'll give them a relevant offer to something we want them to try. Can I just have a look at a beacon for a second? Sure. So these are estimates, these are all of the start of this Kickstarter project. So okay, very good. They're kind of a silicon, silicon gel or silicon, uh, yeah. And there's uh, got a real strong sticky back yeah, on gotcha. you put them under yeah. a desk or something yeah. or under a yeah. table. Yeah. Um, so these, these they are kind of, look pretty, so they, 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 they do look pretty, they're designed aesthetically yeah. or with aesthetics in mind. Is there any sort of commercial versions of these available? Um, well, Estimo are working on a commercial are version. They? These are kind of pre-release. Yeah. Um, so interestingly, they, there's a full SDK with them. You can put data onto them. They last for about a year on their current battery. Okay. Uh, although this one doesn't appear to be able to be opened, right? So, but I would expect newer versions to be able to, to be able to open and change right. the battery. The batteries tend to be kind of like disc batteries. Yeah, yeah. Watch batteries are yeah. bigger ones. Um, when you say you can put data on them, so you can put data on them and you can query that data then. Yeah. Oh, okay. So with, with Bluetooth, the way it is is when you when you find a device, you can query it for its services and the back of the list of services. Okay. And then services have read and write values. Right. So you can. Put some data on, take it back off. Okay, very good. Okay, and is this what you um, say for, for testing? Are you using the SMO beacons? Yeah, we've been playing around with the SMO beacons. They come with a built-in device identifier, but you can change them, right? So the reason then, the reason I use this for this example is we got to choose our own device identifier. So this gotcha. is listening for the news talk beacons. Okay, gotcha. Right. right. This is transmitting the news talk beacons. Okay. You get yeah. Okay. Um, so. Uh, to, to Set, the physical setup, okay, so creating an app is one thing that depends sure. on complexity. Yeah. But to actually program the beacon, set up the location, that's a pretty quick process. It's pretty it? straightforward. Yeah. I mean, like the thing is, you, you, you know, in theory, you could use these out of the box. Yeah. Uh, but of course, the, the, the problem with these things is they all come with the same device identifier. So yeah. what you'd want to do is reprogram them first time you get them to your own device identifier. Okay. And then your app looks for your devices. Mm -hmm.